Hello and welcome to Pavli. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the top 10 Facebook lead ad automations that you can set up with Pavli Connect. So guys, if you're using Facebook lead ads to generate some leads, then we came up with the best automations that can help you in your day to day life. So using these automations, you can automatically send a WhatsApp message to your Facebook leads or add the details of your new Facebook leads into the database like in MySQL, in Airtable or in Google Sheet as well that too instantly. Also, you can automate the process of adding the new leads to other platforms like Wix contact or what you can do, you can add a new contact in your Google contacts account for the new lead which you have generated on Facebook lead ads. So the possibilities with automation are endless. You can also automate the process of adding the new leads into a CRM application or to any other platform. So without any further delay, let's start with this complete guide and understand in a step by step manner that how you can set up all of these automations all by yourself. In this video, we are going to see how to create contact in Wix from new Facebook lead ads. So every time a new lead has been received through Facebook lead ads, what you want with the information received, you want to create a contact in Wix, which is a website builder platform. Now, how can that be done? For this, again, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and your action application will be Wix. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. Now, to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And here we have reached a landing page. Now on the right hand side, we have options sign in and sign up for free. So since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, we have reached all applications page. So these are the various applications of Pabli. I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. Now, as we do that, we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? Every time I receive a new Facebook lead, then with the details that I have received, I should be able to create a contact in Wix. And Wix is a free user friendly website building platform. So I'm going to name it as create contact in Wix from new Facebook lead ads. Let's click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application will be Facebook lead ads. And the trigger event here would be new lead instant. So now I'm going to click on connect and here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook lead ads account. So I'm going to select add new connection. I have already logged into my Facebook account. I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Pabli Connect is now connected with FB lead ads. Now here we have to mention the page and the lead generation form. For this, I'm going to take you to metaphor developers page. Let's go to my applications and here I'm going to take you to tools. So let's go down here. We have lead ads debug tool. Let's click on this. Now here we have to select the page. So let's say that I am going to select Pabli connect page. So here I'm going to look for Pabli connect. So this is the page that I was looking for and here this is the preview form. So I'm going to click on this preview form. So this here is the form that we have received. So now I'm going to take you first back to Pabli Connect. So here it is asking me to fill in the page. So here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect. Here it is. And you can here see that since there was only one lead generation form in there. So it has already been captured by the system. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that, here it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to fill up this form. So let's say the first name here is new. The last name is user123. Then we have the email address which is new user123 at pablitudes.com. And then we have the gender. Let's say it is male. And then we have the phone number. It is one. Okay, now I'm going to click on next submit and yes here it is saying that our response has been submitted so i'm taking you back to public connect to see if we have received the response here 
And yes, here you can see that we have received the response. This is the first name, last name, email address, gender, phone number. This here is the created time. So once we have received this information, what is my objective? I want to create a contact in Wix. So I'm going to choose my action application here as Wix. Let's click on this. Now the action event here would be to create contact. Let's click on connect. So here Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Wix account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection, then connect with Wix. Now here to set up this connection, we need the application ID and the secret ID. And this we have to receive from Wix developer application. So it is very well explained here how you have to do this. So let me show you the same. So as I click on this hyperlink here and I scroll down. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to Wix developer center. So I click on this hyperlink and now let's click on start now. So as we do that, first of all, I need to create a new application. So I'm going to click on this. And as I do that here, you can see this is the name of my application, my new application five. Now what we have to do is we have to go to auth and here we have the application ID and the application secret key. Now it is also mentioned here as I scroll down that here in the URL redirect URL, we have to copy this. So I'm going to copy this link address, go back here and here I'm going to paste this. Once done, here we have to enter the application URL. So I'm just going to enter my website's URL. With, okay, so you can enter your own application URL. So once this is done, let's click on save. So here we can see that my changes have been successfully saved. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to copy this application ID and paste this over here. And then we have the secret key. So I'm going to copy the secret key and paste this over here. Okay, now there's one more thing that we have to do. We have to go to permissions. So it is again explained here that the next thing that we have to do is we have to go to permissions and here we have to provide the following permissions. So I'm going to take you back here and here you can see Wix developers. So this has been added. I'm going to click on add permissions and we are going to go to contacts and members and here I'm going to go down manage members and contacts all permissions let's click on save okay then I'm going to click on add permissions and this time I'm going to go down for coupons and let's click on manage coupons click on save and then the last one that has been mentioned here so we have Wix stores so I'm going to add permissions here this is Wix stores and we are going to go to product so manage products let's click on save now the api categories that i have selected here so we could only go for contacts and members and wix developers as well now i'm going to take you back to public connect and i'm going to click on save here so as i do that here it is asking me for the access i'm going to click on agree and add so here we can see that this authorization has been successful now we are going to map this information. How do we do that? So as I click on this, so we can see the previous step. I'm going to go to first name. So we can see that the first name has been added here. Now the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now I'm going to do the same thing for last name. So once this is done, the line item email tag. So here you can say it is work email. Then again, the email address. So let's go to step one. This here is the email address. Now the phone tag. So again, I'm going to add work. And here we have to enter the country code. So it is written that, you know, you have to enter the country code in this format. So since it is India, so I'm going to write I N. The next thing is phone number, but here it is saying that the phone number has to be added without the country code. But the response that we have received, here we have the country code. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. How? I'm going to add another action step here. This time the application is a feature by Pabli, which is text formato. And the action event here would be split text. Let's click on connect. Now the text to split, so I'm going to map the information. This here is the phone number. Separator would be plus nine one. And I want the last segment, right? The second segment, or I can just write last. I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received the information just like we want it. So I'm going to refresh this connection by selecting the existing connection. 
and now here i'm going to take you down and add the phone number by going to step two this here is the phone number then we have the address so if you wish you can always add it i'm just going to leave it blank and uh, now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as i do that here we can see we have received the api response which says that the contact has been created so taking you to wix.com let's go to contacts and as we reach here so here we can see that yes new user one two three so with this name email address and phone number a contact has been created so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time i'm going to take you back to the form and here i'm going to first delete the previous lead and remember once you have deleted the lead you have to refresh the page so once this is done i'm going to check for the page once again so let's look for Pabli connect so here it is now let's click on preview form so here is the form now i'm going to fill it up so let's say the first name here is dummy then the last name is user then we have the email address which is dummy user one two at pablitudes.com then we have the gender let's say it is female and then we have the mobile number which is now i'm going to click on next let's click on submit and yes now the moment the submission is done what should happen with the information a contact should be created in wix so i'm going to take you to wix now and quickly refresh this page and here you can see that yes dummy user has been created so this basically means that our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where the trigger application is facebook lead ads the event here is new lead instant then our action application was wix where we had to create a contact in between we had chosen a feature by public which was text formatter to split the text so I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Facebook lead ads to MySQL database. Now suppose guys, you are a business owner who is running Facebook business ads, Facebook lead ads to market your business and you want to add those leads which you are generating into your MySQL database. So this automation is going to help you a lot. So using this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically that newly generated lead details will be added as a new row in MySQL database. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to my SQL and then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is created over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with public connect so that every time a new lead is generated on our Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that newly generated lead will be captured inside public connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. And after that, using public connect, we are going to add those new lead details to our MySQL database in the next step. So let's see how it is done. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Facebook lead ads. Just select it and then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new lead instant. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. And because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, Pabli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. 
and here in this drop down you can see a list of all the pages which i have created in my facebook account so here in my facebook account you will see a list of different pages which i have created out of all of these pages the page on which we are going to work today is named as family tech so for this particular facebook page i have created a facebook lead ad campaign and all the leads which are generated from that campaign i want to capture those leads inside family connect so from the drop down you have to select the facebook page on which you are running your facebook lead ads just select it in the trigger and after selecting a facebook page it is asking us lead gen form so it is most likely possible that into a single facebook page you might have created multiple facebook lead ad forms so out of all of these forms using which form you want to basically get the lead capture the leads inside public connect so here guys you will see in this particular facebook page i have few trial form few test forms over here out of which there is a form named as pabli so i am going to select this particular form named as pabli over here after selecting your lead generation form just click on save and send test request now after clicking on save and send test request here you will see that it has changed to waiting for webhook response this means pabli connect is waiting to get some details some response of a new lead from facebook lead ads and now what we have to do we have to generate a test lead now to generate a test lead we are going to use the facebook lead ad testing tool over here the official testing tool of facebook to generate some test leads and test your automations over here so here guys we have a dedicated video live on the channel that how you can reach on this facebook lead ad testing tool and how you can use it to test your facebook lead ad form after reaching to this testing tool here in the page section select your facebook page and in form section from the drop down select the form using which you want to generate the test lead here in pabli connect we have selected pabli as a lead gen form so in the testing tool as well i have selected pabli over here after this just click on this preview form button and the lead ad form which we have created for this facebook page for this facebook ad is open in front of us so this is a lead generation form now let's enter the details of a demo user over here in this lead generation form details of a test lead so this is the name this is the email address and this is the mobile number now after entering these details just click on next and click on submit so just now using the facebook lead ad testing tool we have generate a test lead on our facebook lead ad form lead generation form and because we have connected our facebook account and our facebook lead generation form with public connect here in public connect we will see that the details of this same newly generated lead will be captured over here so here in our trigger window you can see we have received some response and in this response you can see the same first name same last name same email as well as the same mobile number so these are the details of the exact same lead which we have generated just now using the facebook lead ad testing tool this means the step 1 of setting up this automation is completed we have successfully connected our facebook lead ad testing tool with public connect and received the details of a new lead over here now let's move to step 2 and in step 2 we want to send those new lead details to our mysql database and to do this just scroll down come to our action window and here in choose app search for mysql just select it after selecting mysql an action event from the drop down select the action event as insert row then just click on connect and select add new connection now here guys we have to connect our mysql account our mysql database with public connect and to make this connection we have to enter the username and password of our mysql database also we have to enter the host the database id and also the port of our mysql database so if you already have a mysql database you must be having the username password host database and port over here you just have to enter all of these details over here and click on save to connect your mysql database with public connect right now i am going to select the existing connection and then just click on same i am going to select the old connection of my mysql database with public connect but you can just enter these details and click on save to connect your mysql account with public connect after making this connection it is asking us for the table name so in mysql database here you can see that i have created two different tables first one is facebook lead and second one is linkedin lead so here in this drop down we have to select that in which particular table we want to insert this row we want to add this new lead details so obviously i want to add the facebook leads data into this table named as facebook leads so here guys i have opened this table and here from the drop down we are going to select the same table as well 
then it is asking us for the ID that what is the unique ID of this particular data particular row which we are going to enter. So the field of ID we are going to keep it blank we are going to ignore this field for now because when we are going to add these details into our MySQL database it will automatically generate the ID the row number over there. So we are just ignoring this field for now and then it is asking us name email and mobile number. So these are the details of a new Facebook lead which I have received from Facebook lead ads in Trigger window. We have this name, we have the email and we have this mobile number. And we have to actually send this same data, map this same data which we have received from Facebook lead ads of a new lead over here in the respective fields. And guys the process of mapping is very simple. Here we have the field of name and here to map this data, to map the name from our trigger responses to our action step, what we have to do, we just have to click on this field and in the drop down, here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook lead ad of a new lead. From these responses, select the response of post name and it will be mapped. Then just add a space and then from the drop down, map the response of last name. In this way, whatever lead's name we are going to receive from Facebook lead ad, the same name will be added in MySQL database. Follow the same process of mapping for email and mobile number as well. From the drop down, map the email over here and then from the drop down, map the mobile number over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of a new lead which we have received from Facebook lead ads is been added in as a new row in our MySQL database. So let's check it. We will go to a MySQL database and we'll just refresh this database, this tables page once. And yes guys, here you can see that demo user, the same lead whose details we have just now added into the Facebook lead ad testing tool while generating a test lead. The same lead's detail has been added as a new row in our MySQL database. Here we have the same name, same email and the same mobile number. Also here you can see that we kept the field of ID blank and it has automatically detected the ID over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new lead is going to get generated using Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that lead will be added as a new row in our MySQL database. Now here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. We will get back to our Facebook lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate a new lead, another test lead over here. And we are going to test the automation. But using Facebook lead ad testing tool, it is saying your test lead has been sent to create a new lead, please delete this one. So here it says that at one time we can only generate one test lead. So here per form we can generate only one test lead. So the test lead which we have generated just now, we have to delete that lead. Click on this delete lead button and that previous test lead will be deleted. It has been deleted. Now let's create a new lead over here. Click on this preview form button. And then let's enter the details. For example, I'll enter the name as test user test at the rate. This is the email address. And click on submit. So just now a new lead has been added in a Facebook lead ad testing tool. We have just now generated a new lead. And we will see as this lead is generated instantly, automatically, the same leads detail will be added in our MySQL table, our MySQL database. So let's check it. We'll go to MySQL. We'll just refresh this table once. And yes, here you can see that instantly the same lead test user has been added as a new row. Their details has been added as a new row in our MySQL database. Here you can see the same name, same email and the same mobile number. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video using Public Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new lead is going to get generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that lead will be added in our MySQL database. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. 
In this video, we are going to see how to enroll students in online course host.com from new Facebook lead ads. So here you want that every time a new lead is received through Facebook lead ads, then you want that with the details that you have received of the user, the same user should be enrolled as a student in online course host.com, which is an online platform for selling and creating courses. Now, how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and your action application will be online course host.com. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached a landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you do not have an account with us, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is every time I receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I want that particular lead to be added as a new student to be enrolled as a new student in online course host.com. So I'm going to name it as enroll students in online course host for new Facebook lead ads. Let's click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this and the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run here. It would be new lead instant. So basically this workflow is going to run when a new lead is submitted in specified lead generation form associated with my Facebook page. So I'm going to click on this. So as I do that, and I click on connect. So here you can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Facebook lead ads account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. Now I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So I already have logged into my Facebook account. So I'm going to click on this. And as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. This is because I already had logged in. So when you are setting up this connection, please make sure that once you have logged in, then only you are doing this. Now here we have to mention the page name and the lead generation form associated with it. To understand this, let me first take you to my Facebook account. So this is my Facebook page here on the left hand panel. You can see pages. Let's click on this and you can say that I already have created a lot of pages. Now here I have created a page Laksh coaching classes. I'm going to choose this one going back to Pabli connect here. I'm going to mention Laksh coaching classes. Now, since there is only one lead generation form associated with this particular page, so it has already been captured by the system. Now, as I click on save and send test request, here you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. Basically, now what I have to do is I have to do a test submission. So I have to fill in a lead generation form so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. To do the same, I'm going to go to metaphor developers page here. Let's go to my applications. Then we are going to go to tools. Here you can see lead ads RTU debug tool. Let's click on this. Now, as I do that here, you can see this is the lead ads testing tool. We have to use this tool to test our integration and we can also create a test lead to confirm that our integration is set up to receive data correctly. Now here I'm going to look for Laksh coaching classes. So here it is. As I click on this, you can see that the form has already been captured. Now we have to click on preview form. So as I do that here, you can see that the form has opened right in front of us. Now I'm going to enter the details. Let's say the email address here is smartuser at pablitudes.com. And then here we have the full name, which is smart user. Now let's enter the phone number. This is just a demo number. And now I'm going to click on next. 
as I do that here it is giving us the terms and conditions let's click on submit and as soon as we do that here we can see that our form has been submitted successfully going back to public connect let's understand if we have received the API response and yes here you can see we have received the response this here is the email address then we have the full number we have the phone number this is the created time then here we have the ID form ID then as I take you down here we have the lead generation ID page ID form ID entry ID and entry time now once I have received this data what is my objective now my objective is that the user who has just filled up this form should be enrolled as a student in onlinecoursehost.com. So my action application here would be onlinecoursehost.com and the action event here would be to enroll a student. Let's click on connect. As I do that here, Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with onlinecoursehost.com account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. Now here we need an integration token to set up this connection. To do the same, first we have to log in to our online course host.com account. Once we have done that, we have to go to admin. So let me show you the same how we have to do this. So this is my online course host.com. Here we have to go to admin. On the left hand side, you can see settings. Let's go to integrations. And now as I scroll down, you can see Pabli integration. So here is the Pabli integration token. Now I'm just going to copy this, go back to Pabli connect and paste this over here. As I do that, let's click on save to set up this connection. Now, as this is done here, you can see that Pabli Connect is connected with onlinecoursehost.com and now we are supposed to fill up this information. First of all, the student's name. So, I'm going to map this information. How? As I click on this, you can see the previous response. And as I click on this, this is the full name of the student. So, the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And it is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now comes the email address. Again, I'm going to go to the previous step and this here is the email address then we have the course ID so here if I show you the courses so I only have created a single course the name is Pabli test course that's why it has already been taken by the system so here let's say that you had multiple IDs then you could have selected from the drop down you can you could have also turned on this mapping button and you could have mapped the course ID as well so next is password now here it is written that you have to enter a password which should contain at least six characters an uppercase lowercase and a number for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a password capital P C and then go to step one and as I take you down this here is the entry ID so this is going to be different for all the form submissions that's why I have chosen this so once this is done let's click on save and send test request and as I do that here you can see the account has been created successfully so the data course is Pabli test course and the data email is this now I'm going to take you to onlinecoursehost.com. Let's go to admin again. And here you can see manage students. Let's go here. And as I do that, let's check. And yes, smart user. This particular user has been created. So here we have the details. This basically means that our integration is a success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So for this, I'm going to go back to my lead ads testing tool. I'm going to close this and delete the previous lead so once you have deleted the lease remember that you have to refresh this page and now once this is done i'm going to again look for lux coaching classes and here it is now let's click on preview form so here is the form now let's fill in the details let's say the email address this time is dummy new at pabli tutes.com dummy new one two three and here is the phone number which is now let's click on next and submit now as soon as i submit this what should happen automatically this user should be enrolled as a student in onlinecoursehost.com so let me take you there and again i'm going to go to manage students and here as i take you down you can see dummy new this particular user has been enrolled this basically means that our integration is a success at the same time if I take you to the email address of the person so let me show you let's go to spam and yes here you can see that we have received a mail as well regarding the Pebbly test course okay 
So this basically means that our integration is a success. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Facebook lead ads where the event was new lead and our action application was online course host.com where the event was enroll student. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write. Hello everyone, today we will learn how to add new Facebook lead ad leads to Airtable. So whenever you are getting new leads in your Facebook lead ads, so you want them to be recorded in your Airtable and created a new record. So you can do this by creating an automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the new lead generation in Facebook and our action will be to create a new order in our Airtable. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how can you create task over here in your air table and keep a record of all the Facebook lead ad generations. We will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli. So let us quickly sign in into our account. If you don't have an existing account, you can click on sign up for free. So now after signing in, I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided to you by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create today's automation. Click on access now and therefore you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your automation that you're going to create. I am going to name it as create record in Airtable from Facebook lead ads. So click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on the screen. So you can see two boxes with trigger and action written over them. So trigger is when this happen and action is do this, which means that whatever is going to be your trigger application, an event will take place. So that will trigger the flow of this workflow and further the action application will perform whichever action is assigned to it. So our trigger application for today's workflow is going to be Facebook lead ads. And the event will be a new lead. So you, what you have to do is go to your Facebook page, like this is my Facebook account, go to pages and then select a page where you have to create a form. All right. So here you can come to Meta Business Suite. You don't have to create a new page if you already have pages. Select your page from this list. Like I want to create a page for the salon. And here in salon, I will go to all tools in the left side panel and select instant forms from there and then I will create a form in my page the salon okay so I will create a form a new form like you can see and I will name my form as so whatever query people are having about the salon they can ask over here okay so you can choose according to your choices if you want to upload an image or use an image from the ad itself like you can see over here you can choose that then a headline okay a headline is there and then the description is okay this is the description now questions that you are creating the form for so when you scroll down you can see full name and email address is already here so you can add a category of phone number as well okay so the person has to enter the email full name and phone number and then this form is for queries so you can add one question of your choice short answer question and the question will be enter your query okay like this now this is a question and it is a short answer question so your form is ready now in case of privacy you have to add a link so i am going to add a privacy link over here so i will add the privacy link of my website that is the salon and then the link text is then completion in case of completion this is thanks you're all set description is that you can visit our website so the website link is here so for now i am adding a dummy link over here like this okay now one thing left that you have to enter the description also so this form and publish so now the form is published see you can see it right here so in order to fill the form and get the response over here first connect your pabli connect to your facebook account click on connect add new connection and then it will automatically detect the presence of your account and yes the authorization will be successful like this 
But in order to fill this form from here, you have to go to another page which is called Meta for Developers. Like I have already opened a tab for Meta for Developers over here. After you log in into your Facebook already, you don't have to log into your Meta for Developers page separately. So just click on My Apps. From here, you have to go to Tools and then go to Lead Ads RTO Debug Tool. When you reach here, you will reach this page where you have to select your ad, your page. So that was the salon. So search for the salon from here. It's a big list of all the pages that you have in your Facebook account. So the salon might be somewhere here. Yeah, here it is. The salon and it will automatically select the form. Otherwise, you can select your form from this drop down menu as well. Now, when you click on preview form, you will get the box where you have to fill in the details for the form so make sure that you select the forms over here as well so again select the salon from here and which is the form you're working upon you have to select and for, for pably connect also now when you click on save and send test request pably connect will start waiting for a response of whatever submission is being done on this preview form page Okay, so when you click on save and send test request, go to your Meta for Developers page, click on preview form and then fill the form. So my query is and my email address is already entered over here and this is my name. So I will just correct my name as and I'll change my email address as well and I will change my phone number as well. This is my dummy phone number and next. So I have filled the form clicking on submit is done. You can click on view website or it will take you to, to the website that you entered the dummy website but we are not going there so we'll just click on cancel and go to public connect to see the response and here is the response see what are the charges for the hair spa so this was the query the email address the name and the contact number so we can save this data right over here and now we will proceed to the next step that is going to be our action application that is Airtable where we are supposed to create a record so choose your action application as Airtable and then choose the event to create a record. Now, where you have to create a record? First of all, choose a base where you have to create a record and then create this workspace. Now, I have already created a workspace called Facebook Lead Ads. So whatever will be the data coming from Facebook Lead Ads will be collected over here. Like you can see the name, the query, the email address and the contact is already over here. So now we are going to add this data that we have just received from the salon form over here in the record in this workspace. So let us connect our Airtable. Click on connect, add new connection. And now you have to enter a token. In order to get a fresh new token for this fresh new workflow, you have to go this developer hub section and follow all these steps. These instructions are for your help only. Click on developer hub. And when you reach here, you have to click on create new token on your right top corner. Here you will give a name to your token. So it will be Facebook. Okay, then add scope. Scope is something that this token will be able to record data from which all fields. So you have to select these on the basis of what are given over here. Okay, so similarly, I'm going to select those one by one. There are almost seven that you are supposed to select. and webhook manage so i have selected the scope and the access will be all current and future bases and all current and future workspaces okay so now we have done this click on create token and a token will be created copy this token and paste it over here so that your airtable account will be connected and once this is done you have to choose your base id and your table so in the base id will be a drop down menu so type over here facebook lead ads this is the name of our workspace and then it will automatically select the table because we are having for now just one table over here okay so now name query email and contact in the same way i have already created my columns over here you can see all the fields over here so we are supposed to map these fields and how are we going to map these fields Whenever you click on any empty field that you are supposed to fill in in your action application, it will automatically ask you to insert data from the previous step. So the previous step was Facebook lead ads. So just make sure that you click on this drop down menu and then you will find all the responses that you're supposed to fill in. 
So what was the name? The name was Ria James. So I'm going to select Ria James in the name. So every time a new name comes and is filled over there in the form, so that name will be reflected over here and then it will be coming under the name column also. Then the query section, again, you will click on the drop down menu and map the query right here. In the email address, again, you can select the email address. So it is getting mapped and in the contact, you have to map the contact number. Enable typecasting, leave it to false only. Now click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application. In the meantime, you can see it's already over here. It shows no error, which means nothing to be corrected. Just click on save to save this workflow. And then we will go to our air table to check. Have we recorded this response? Yes. The name, the query, the email and the contact is already here. So we have created a successfully working work workflow over here. Our trigger was Facebook lead ads. We collected a new lead over here by creating a form in our pages, selected the page, and then we went to the important part is the meta business suit over here, and then the meta for developers page where we got this option to preview form and fill the form. Further, we created a workspace in Airtable, and then we were able to create a record from that response that we received from the new lead and Facebook lead ad. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Welcome to this tutorial on how to add moves and subscribers from Facebook lead ads automatically. Guys, as a business owner or marketer, you already know the importance of having a strong email list. And if you're collecting leads from Facebook lead ads, integrating your leads with your email marketing tool is essential. So here I'm going to show you an automation which is going to Add the leads that you're getting from Facebook lead ads into MooSend email marketing tool as a subscriber automatically. And we can set up this automation just by a few clicks without any coding. So let me show you how it's done. Guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool to set up this automation. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description so that you can sign up for free from here. And you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now. After that, sign in and uh, reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here. So guys, I have given this name and after giving a name, just click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things only. Trigger starts the workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In this use case, uh, getting a lead from Facebook lead ad is going to trigger this workflow. So when you click on trigger, it will ask to choose the trigger application and the trigger event. So Facebook will be our trigger application and getting a lead in Facebook will act as a trigger event for this workflow. So search for Facebook lead ads here. Here it is selected. Then select the trigger event as new lead. Okay, then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook lead ads. It might bring you to the login window of Facebook, but I have already logged in here. So it just got connected like this. Okay. And here it is asking for the Facebook pages name where you are running the lead ad. Okay, so here, when you click, it will show you the list of all the pages that you have. And this is the page on which I'm running at named as a Z Nutri shop. So I'm going to select this page's name a Z Nutri shop here. It is selected. Then it will ask to select the lead ad form attached with the ad. So every lead ad has a fa has a Facebook lead ad form attached. So uh, whenever someone clicks on the ad, the form open up and when someone fills the form, that's how you generate a lead. Okay, you will get the details of the form submission. And that's how you generate the lead. So here is a form attached on this page named as chocolate and candy brochure form. So uh, you can see this form by clicking on this Facebook test tool word. Okay, and 
from this Facebook lead ad testing tool, you can generate a test lead for setting up this automation. Okay, you can read the important note here. If you do not have any leads, then create one by logging into Facebook lead ad account and do a test submission over any lead form so that the response can be captured here. Okay, so to generate the test lead, just click on this test tool button and you will reach this testing tool of Facebook lead ads. And here it will ask to select your page and the form. So select the same page from here and it will show you the form also. And by clicking on the preview form uh, option, you can see the forms preview. Okay, like this, let me show you. So this is the preview of a form I have attached. This is a simple form I have attached in the lead ad. Okay. Now guys, by filling this form, you can uh, create a test lead. And after creating the test lead, we are going to click on save and send test request button here. And the details of that same lead will be captured here in the response section. Okay, let me show you. I'm filling this form now. I'm putting the name of the person as demo name. Let the email address is sorry, in the first field, we have to fill the email address. So this is the email address. This is the name. Okay, here you can provide any uh, number test number and click on next button. All right, so you can after clicking on next, you have to click on submit button. And you can see thanks you're all set. And now you can close this window and here you can see your test lead has been sent. Okay. Now let's capture the data of this lead. I'm clicking on save and send test request button here. And here you can see guys the same details are captured here. The email address is this demo at the rate Pablitudes. Full name is demo name. These are the same details I have filled in the uh, test submission. Okay. Now guys, I want to create this person as a subscriber of MooSend tool. So in this action step, search for MooSend. Okay then select it, then select the action event as add new subscriber, then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the API key of MooSend application. And you will find this key in the account settings of MooSend. So let me show you that. This is my MooSend applications dashboard guys. And here I have this profile icon. Under this profile icon, you will find the settings option, click on it. And under settings page, you will find its API key tab right here. Click on API key. And here is the key. So just copy the key, you can generate a new key as well. Or you can use this key, copy the key and paste the key here like this and then click on save and you will be connected with MooSend. Okay, we are now connected. And here you have to select the list in which you want to add a subscriber. So I have this list Papcon first mailing list. Okay. And it will ask for the name of the subscriber and the email address of the subscriber to add. So here I'm going to use this test data that I have received from the uh, Facebook lead ad tool. Okay, and I'm going to place the number or uh, place the details here in these fields. So to map the details, you just have to click here on this field, like this, and the previous step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you can see all the data right here. So from here, map the name of the person. Similarly, map the name of the subscriber. Sorry, email address of the subscriber. And uh, when you map the data like this, what will happen after setting up this automation in real time, whenever you are going to get a real lead from Facebook lead ad, these labels here will be updated and new lead will be added as your subscriber in MooSend. Okay, now you can test your connection with MooSend by clicking on save and send test request button and this subscriber will be added in your email list. Let me open the email list. Okay, here you can see it is showing uh, only one active subscriber right now and this is the name of the subscriber dummy user. Let us check our connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And this is the response we have received. Let me just refresh the list uh, I have in MooSend and see if we got a new subscriber. 
and here you can see we got a new subscriber added with the name demo name and this is the email address and these are the same two things I have mapped here and our connection is working perfectly. So this is how it is going to work guys. So you have to set up this automation only once. After that you don't, do not even have to look this workflow. It will work silently in the background and in real time whenever you are going to generate a lead via your Facebook lead ad you can see the person in your subscribers list in Moosend automatically. And guys, you can use this workflow as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to add users to Zendesk from new Facebook lead ads lead. Here we will learn that how can you integrate Facebook and Zendesk in such a way that whenever a new lead is generated in your Facebook, a new user will be created in Zendesk. We will be doing this with the help of Public Connect where our trigger application is going to be Facebook and our action application will be Zendesk. Let us learn how to do it. So let us create an automation where you can create users in your Zendesk. Like you can see right here, a new user will be created from the form that we will be generating in our Facebook lead ads. And as a lead, we will accept it in our Pabli. And then that user will be created in Zendesk whenever that form is filled. So we will do this with the help of Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli. And on the right hand side, I will sign in by clicking on this button. I will reach the login page and I will just click on sign in with Google and then I will reach this page where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli to create automation. We are going to use Pabli Connect to connect Facebook and Zendesk today. So click on access now and you will be taken to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you have to click on create workflow, this big blue button on the right side and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as create users in Zendesk from Facebook lead ads lead. So I'll click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see two boxes. One has trigger written over it and the other has action. Our trigger for this workflow is going to be Facebook. Why? Because the form will be generated in Facebook and that trigger that whenever some person fills up that form is going to be that trigger event. And our action will be Zendesk because the action will be performed in Zendesk of creating a user. So we will choose the application as Facebook lead ads and our trigger event is going to be new lead and that to an instant. Now before you connect your Facebook accounts, make sure that you have created a form in your Facebook. So how are we going to do that? In your pages section in your Facebook account, you have to go to this meta business suite and from here you will choose all tools written over here in the left side panel. Click on all tools and you have to click on instant forms like I have over here. And then you have to use any form that you have created over here. I have created this form that is called registration form and I'm going to use the same. You can have a look at the form which is like this. And this is the end screen that will appear. So you can create such a form. The video with which you can learn how to create a form in your Facebook page, you can find it in the description of this video only. Then you have to choose this form in your Pabli Connect. So let us connect our Facebook lead ad account with Pabli Connect so that whenever a form is filled, the information is fetched by Pabli instantly. Now since it's connected and see this is the page name and this is the form name. So you have to select your page name. First of all have a look which page are you talking about and which page this form has been created. You can understand that your form has been created in which page with the help of this icon. This is the form and if you go to this it will show that which is the page. It's ABC grocery store. So we will select that form from this list that is given to you ABC grocery form. You can just type over here and then see this is the page you're talking about. 
and then there might be many forms in your page so you can choose the name of your form like the grocery flyers and registration form so we are going to use registration form click on save and send test request but please read the important note given over here that after clicking the save and send test button you will need to make a sample submission of your lead generation form by clicking on preview form and you will reach that section from this tab that i have opened right here that's called meta for developers so when you go to meta for developers go to my applications then tools and then you have to come down to lead ads rtu debug tool click on this when you reach at this window you have to find your page from here so like it was abc so just abc grocery store choose your page and then this is the form now before you click on create lead remember that you have to go back over here in your public connect workflow and click on save and send test request then go back to your lead ad testing tool and then preview form this form will appear in front of you so you have to fill in your details so like the email address is this and i have to enter my phone number and then click on next and submit and thanks you are all set you can click on view website if you want to view the website whichever website you're filling the form for when you go back to public connect you'll see that you have received a response this was the email address you entered in the form the name the mobile number and the other details in the html format also and in the normal format as well now you will just save this part and now we will move ahead to our action application that is zendesk so type zendesk in the choose app field and then select the event to create a user you can see that you have various options of adding an action event but we want to create a user using this information that we have received from the facebook form click on connect so that the information that you will be getting from your previous step that is your trigger application should be transferred to the correct zendesk account now when you click on add new connection you have to fill in certain credentials about your account your zendesk account so you have to enter the username so i will enter the username of my account you have to enter yours the password and then the subdomain now what is the subdomain subdomain is like this if this is your zendesk url then everything that comes after slash and before this dot is your subdomain so we'll go to your zendesk account like this and here you will just type you, when you put your cursor over here you can see that all this part between the slash and the dot is your subdomain so just come here and paste it over here this is your subdomain click on save and then your accounts will be connected see it says connected now now you have to fill in the name email address detail notes basically the details that are required to create a user okay so what are you going to do you have to enter the name so click on name and then it will ask you to insert data from the previous step you just cannot type your name inside here because every time a person fills up the form the name is going to be static in that case so what we will do we will map this data now what is mapping mapping is using the information of the trigger or the previous application or previous step to fill in the details of the next or the action step so they are providing you with this drop down menu where you can find the list of the responses so this was our name so you have mapped the name now similarly you will map the email address then in details if you want to fill something or notes and then phone number so you can just map the phone number these were the three basic details that we included no tags nothing just now you can see a role and you have to fill this because required is written over here you have to fill in this field like notes and details did not have required written over here so we just left this field open now role is end end user agent admin what is the role of that user so you can decide it accordingly if it is an agent that is going to fill the form over here that you have created this registration form so it will always be in agent only organization is pably if you want to keep it that otherwise you can find something static to write over here no other field is required to be filled just click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application 
and see the response is received over here now you can see this is the user id that is created just now the name the email address of the user and then the phone number these were the basic details that were provided by us and using those details a new user in zendesk has been created so first of all save your workflow then we'll go back to our zendesk to check that has a new user created so we'll just refresh this and see here you have the new user the name is this this is the email address organization the role we set to agent and it was updated just now if you open it you can also find the phone number detail over here like you can see on the left side panel which means that our workflow has been created successfully let's do a quick recap of this workflow by closing the windows our trigger application was facebook lead ads and then the event was a new lead then we chose the correct page and the form that we have created in that specific page we went to the meta for developers page where we found this part where we filled the form by clicking on preview form and then this response was was received over here Further, when we saved this step, we went to our action application that was Zendesk. The event was to create a user, connected the account using the subdomain, the username and the password. Then the name, email address, phone number and all these information was filled in correctly. And then again, we clicked on save and send test request to receive this response. And when we checked in our Zendesk, a new user was created with the same name, email address and the phone number that we entered. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to create Google contacts for new leads in Facebook lead ads. Guys, if you're running Facebook ads for generating leads for your business, this automation video is for you. Guys, it is really important to manage and organize your leads that you're generating via Facebook ads and it must also be easily accessible. That's where Google contacts comes in. So guys, in Google contacts, you can store the contacts or the leads that you're generating from your ads. And with the help of an automation, we are going to connect Facebook lead ads with Google contacts in such a way that whenever there is a new lead generated from Facebook lead ad, the same lead will be added inside Google contacts automatically and you do not have to do it manually. So it will save your time and improve your productivity. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let me show you how you can set up this automation. To set up this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, you can sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in. Then select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button. So here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I am giving the name to my workflow as Facebook lead ads to Google contacts. You can give any other name as well. And after that, click on create button and you will see your workflow page load up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we are going to set up this automation. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in our use case, getting a lead via Facebook lead ad is going to be triggering the workflow and the action would be to add the lead as a contact in Google contact application. All right. So here in this choose app field, you have to search for Facebook lead ads Select it. Then you have to select the trigger event as new lead. Then click on connect from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook lead ads. All right, so it might bring you to the login window, but I have already logged in in Facebook. So it just got connected like this. Then it will ask for the name of the page on which you are running the Facebook lead ads. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the Facebook pages that you have. So my page on which I'm running the Facebook lead ad is this one. You can see named as Pabli Tech. So I'm going to select this name from this list. P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli Tech. Okay. So guys, in every 
Facebook lead ad, there is a lead ad form attached to the ad. Okay, so whenever any person or visitor is going to click the ad, the lead ad form will open up. And after uh, when the person, if the person is interested, he is going to fill and submit the form, and that's how you generate a lead. Okay, so uh, when you select the page, then it will ask for the lead ad form connected with the page or ad. Okay, so here I have uh, this form. You can see I have this form named as lead ad. Uh, sorry, test lead form. So I have many forms actually on this page. So I'm selecting, let's say this one only test lead form, right? And after that, you have to uh, read this to create a test lead. You can use this Facebook test tool. So by clicking on this Facebook test tool button, you can reach this Facebook lead ad testing tool page. Here you can select your pages name. Let me select my pages name. Pabli tech where it is. This is family tech and here it will show you the list of the uh, forms attached with this page. So this is the test lead form I am using and by clicking on preview form, you can see the preview of the lead ad form that you have created. I'm just showing you the demo. You can customize this form according to your business. Okay. And here you can see I am asking all these things uh, uh, for collecting leads. Okay. So I selected the lead form. Okay. Now I am going to create a test or demo lead by manually fill the filling the form via the Facebook lead ad testing tool. And after that, we are going to capture the details of the lead here in this res response section of this workflow. Let me show you. Let me open the form. So guys, in this form, I have asked for the gender city and these details. So I'm selecting the things. Okay, so let's say the name of my lead is dummy lead. First name is dummy, last name is lead. And email address is this. And the phone number, let's say, is this. Okay. Right. So I have filled the dummy details and here I'm clicking on next. Okay, so I have to provide a valid number. Let me just provide my number here. So guys, I have filled these details, you can see. And let me click on next. And now I'm submitting. All right, so you can see it is showing thanks, you're all set. And a new test lead has been generated. You can see the test lead has been sent. Okay. Now let us capture the data of that lead. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here you can see guys, we got the data of the lead that we have generated like this. It is showing the gender male, the city is Delhi, the name is dummy lead and all the things are captured here as it is as we have entered in the form. Right. Now guys, we want to create this lead as contact in Google contacts application for that to happen. Select Google contacts here in this action step. Search for Google contacts. Here it is selected. Then you have to select the action event as create contact then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on sign in with Google from here you have to choose that Google account in which you want to save the contacts so I'm selecting the account then you have to provide some additional access to your Google account just click on continue all right you can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected and here you can see these fields are showing off the first name last name name, prefix, suffix, and all the things. So these are the things that you have to fill to create a contact in Google contacts application. So guys, we are going to use this test data that we have received here in this first step. And with the help of this test data, we are going to create a contact. So I'm going to map this data here in this step. So just click here on the first name field and you can see the previous trigger will appear here in the drop down. And by clicking on it, you can see the data right here. So from here, I'm going to map this uh, first name as this last name. Here is last name. If you want to provide a prefix or suffix, you can do it. And here, let me map the gender and just toggle this map button to on and it is this field. And from this first step, map the gender that you have received. Okay. If you have the email, map the email address and all other things. If you want to place the phone number, you can place the phone number here, but these are not required fields. These are the 
optional fields here. Uh, so if you have the data, you can enter or you can leave these things blank. So I'm leaving these fields blank right now. And here by clicking on save and send test request button, you can check your connection with Google contacts. So this is Google contacts uh, I have. And right now we have uh, these four contacts. Let us check our connection. I am clicking on save and send test request and a new contact should be created inside Google contacts application. So this is the response we got. Let us check in Google contacts application. Let me refresh this page. And here you can see dummy lead. A new lead is added here as a contact named as dummy lead. And here you can see the details as well. Okay. So this is how you can enter a lead as a contact. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you do not have to do it anything manually in this workflow. You do not even have to open it. It will work silently in the background and in real time, whenever you are going to have a new lead created using Facebook lead ad, the same lead will appear here in your Google contacts list automatically and you do not have to do it manually. And if you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. In this video, we are going to see how to add easy Senti subscribers from new Facebook lead ads. So every time a new lead has been generated through Facebook lead ads, you want that the information that you have received about this new lead with that information, you should be able to create, add a subscriber in EasySendy, which is an email marketing tool. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Facebook lead ads and your action application would be EasySendy. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side we can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. As I'm an existing user and here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now this dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a new Facebook lead is added or received, then automatically a subscriber should be added in Easy Sendy. So I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of our trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application would be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new lead instant. Now let's click on connect. As I do that here, Facebook lead ads account has to be connected with Pabli Connect. To do the same, we are going to select add new connection, connect with Facebook lead ads. I have already logged into my Facebook account. So here we can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now we have to select the page and the lead generation form. So let me take you to my Facebook account. So this is my Facebook page and here I already have created a few pages. So like Pabli Tech, Ayush Herbal Store, Cycle Store, Canvas Stationery, etc. So I'm looking for a particular store which is let's say Ayush Herbal Store. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to select Ayush Herbal Store. As I select this, so it already had one lead generation form. So it has already selected the same. So since there was just one, so the system has selected it. So once we have selected the page and the lead generation form, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, it is asking me to log into the application where we have added the webhook URL and do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now, 
we have to do a test submission which means that now a facebook lead a test facebook lead should be received so i'm going to take you to metaphor developers page so this is metaphor developers page and let's go to lead ads rtu debug tool and here i'm going to look for the page which is ayush herbal store so let's look for it here it is ayush herbal store and now I'm going to click on preview form. So this here is our form and here I have already filled in the information. This is the full name, email address and then the phone number. Let's click on next and submit. So as we do that, let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here let's see if we have received the API response. And yes, here you can see that the API response has been received. So this here is the full name, phone number, email address. This is the created time. And then as I take you down here, we have the created time and other entry IDs. So once we have received this, now my objective is that a subscriber should be created in Easy Sendy. So my action application here would be Easy Sendy. Let's click on this. And the action event would be to add a subscriber. Let's click on connect. So here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Easy Sendy account. So I'm going to click on add new connection. Now I've already logged into my Easy Sendy account and we have to find this API key. So how can we find it? So let me take you to my Easy Sendy account. Here we are going to the profile. We have the APIs and this here is the API key. So let's copy this. Go back to Public Connect. Paste this over here. Let's click on save. So as we do that, here we can see that ECSND is now connected with Pabli Connect. And now we have to provide this information, list UID, subscriber email, subscriber first name and last name. So now I'm going to take you back to ECSND account. And here I'm going to take you to list. So these are the various lists that I have already created. You can create a new list by clicking on this create new tab. Now, let's say that I want the demo display list. This is the name of my list. Okay, this is the UID. Now, the subscriber email. So, for this, I'm going to map the information. How? As I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step. And this is the response that we had received. And this here is the email address. So, this is how we map. Why is mapping important? Because if I had written this manually, so every time the workflow would have done, it would have only taken the manually written data. And that is why when we map this, so the new data can be inculcated. That's why mapping is important. Now comes the subscriber's first name and last name. Here we have received the information, but we have received the complete name. Now we have to split it. For this, we are going to choose an action step. And here we are choosing a feature by Pabli, which is text formatter. Let's click on this. The action event here would be to split text. Let's click on connect. And as we do that, the text to split. Again, I'm mapping the information. Go to step one. This is the full name. Then comes the separator. So here the separator is the space bar. So I'm going to write double curly braces, write space close the curly braces now what is the segment that i want i want both the segments so i'm going to select all click on save and send test request and here we can see that our information has been split now once this is done i'm going to go down refresh this connection by selecting the existing connection and once this is done let's add the first name the first name would be dummy and the last name here would be user now let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have received the api response which says that now a subscriber must be created here it is saying that thank you for joining our email list please confirm your email address now so now i'm going to confirm my email address so here you can see that this is the email that we have received so now here it is saying please click here in order to complete your subscription so let me click here so here we can see the details of demo display list. This is the email address, first name and last name. I'm going to update the profile. And now as I have done that, I'm going to take you back to Easy Sendy. And these are the subscribers. And here I'm going to quickly refresh the page. And yes, you can see that 
this particular email address has been confirmed which basically means that this person is now a registered subscriber in easy sendy with these details and the status has changed to confirmed this basically means that our integration process is a complete success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to the lead ads form and here i'm going to delete the previous lead so once this is deleted i'm going to refresh the page and now i'm going to choose the same page once again which was ayush here it is ayush herbal store and now i'm going to again click on preview this time let's say the full name is test user then we have the phone number and then we have the email address test user at pabli tutes.com now i'm going to click on next and submit as soon as i've done this what should happen automatically this subscriber should be created in easy sendy pro so now i'm going to take you to easy sendy pro and here again i'm going to go to lists and then this is the demo display and now here you can see 11 subscribers and here you can see test user at pablitudes.com this has been created if i take you to my email address we can see that we have received another email and as i click on this so the subscription would be complete right let's update the profile and as i take you back here this should be changed to confirmed so i'm going to refresh this page and yes here you can see that this has been confirmed this basically means that our integration process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to pabli connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was facebook lead ads where the event was new lead instant then our action application was easy sendy where the event was add subscriber here we had also chosen a feature by pabli which was text formatter this was to split the name i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us so in this video we are going to learn how to create contacts in constant contact for new facebook lead ads leads now suppose guys you are a business owner and to market your business you are running some facebook lead ad campaign now you want that all the new leads which you generate from facebook lead ads you want to add those leads into constant contact as a new contact over there or if you already have those leads into your constant contact account you want to update those leads those contacts as well so let me tell you you can completely automate this process so the trigger of this automation will be generating a new lead on our facebook lead ads campaign an action will be adding the same lead or updating the same lead as contact in constant contact account now how you can set up this automation to know this you have to come with me to my screen so as you can see here we are on public connect dashboard now to reach the dashboard you will get a free sign up link of public connect in the description box below by clicking on that link you can create your free public connect account in just 2 minutes and after reaching to this dashboard just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name for example i would like to name my workflow as facebook lead ads to constant contact and then just click on create now you can see that a workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows first one is the trigger window and second one is the action window so triggers and actions are basically those two concepts those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this so let's begin with our trigger window so the idea here is first we have to connect our facebook lead ads account with pabli connect so that whenever a new lead is generated using facebook lead ads on our lead ad campaign automatically the details of that lead will be received inside pabli connect and after that using pabli connect we are going to send those details to constant contact in such a way that whenever a new lead will be generated in facebook lead ads instantly the same lead will be added as a contact in constant contact so let's see how it is done now here in trigger window in choose app search for facebook lead ads just select it and then in trigger event from the drop down select new lead instant as the trigger event then just click on connect and select add new connection 
Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook Lead Ads account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook Lead Ads button. And because we have already logged into our Facebook account in our browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is making the connection. And after making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of different pages. All the pages which we have created in our Facebook account can be seen over here. So for example, we are taking an example of this page on my Facebook account that is called Medicare Hub. Now, this is my business page and I'm running some lead ad campaign on this particular page. So from this page lead ad campaign, I want to get the new lead details. So from the drop down of pages, we are going to select the same page. Medicare Hub. After selecting the page, the next thing it asks us is the lead generation form. And in the drop down, you can see all the lead generation forms which we have created over here. So here guys, what we are going to do to generate some test leads, we are going to use the Facebook lead ads testing tool. Now guys, how you can use this lead ad testing tool to generate test lead and set up this automation. We already have a dedicated video on that tool already live on the channel. So you can refer to that video and learn how you can reach to this Facebook lead ad testing tool and how you can use it to generate test leads in your Facebook lead ads. So here guys, in this testing tool, we have to select the page and the form. So from this drop down, we will be selecting the same page Medicare Hub in which we have running some Facebook lead ad campaign whose response we want to receive inside Pavli Connect. And here guys, you will see in forms, you can see the lead ad form which we have created, the active lead ad form. So just select that form over here. And we are going to select that same form whose leads we want to capture inside Pavli Connect over here in this lead generation form section. Now after selecting it guys, what we have to do, we just have to click on this save and send test request button. And after clicking on save and send test request, it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details, some data or some response of a new lead from Facebook lead ads. So here on this form, we are going to generate a test lead. Just click on this preview form button. And then here on this Facebook lead ad form, this is a lead ad form which I have created. Here I'm asking the user their full name, phone number and email. So we are going to enter the details of a test user, a dummy user. For example, demo user, this is a name. This is the mobile number and this is the email address. So we are just entering some test details, some dummy details over here. Click on next. After clicking on next, click on submit. So just now using this Facebook lead ad testing tool, we have generated a test lead in our Facebook lead ads form. And we will see because we have connected our Facebook account with Pavli Connect, the details of the same lead, same test lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here in our Pavli Connect workflow, you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same lead. You can see the same name, same mobile number, same email address, same date and time at what date and time this lead was generated. Then you will scroll down further and you can see other details for the same lead as well. So here guys, we have successfully completed the step one of setting up this automation. We have received the details of a new lead from Facebook lead ads inside Pavli Connect. Now we want to send the same lead details to constant contact in such a way that whenever a new lead is created in Facebook lead ads, we have to add that same lead as a new contact in constant contact. Now after this, let's add this lead into constant contact. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for constant contact. Just select it. And then here in action event from the drop down, select action event as create or update a contact. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our constant contact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with constant contact button. And because we have already logged in in our constant contact account as well, here Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the access permission. Click on allow access and now we will see our constant contact account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is basically asking us some details of a new contact which we want to create like email address, first name, last name and all. So here guys, we have received email address, first name, last name and phone number these details from Facebook lead ads of a new lead. So one by one, we are going to map the same details, the same responses in the respective field. So let's start with email address. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. 
To map the data, you just have to click on this email address field and in the drop down here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook lead ads. And out of all of these responses, select this response of email and it will be mapped over here. After mapping the email address, it is asking us for the first name and the last name. But here guys from Facebook lead ads, we have received a single response of full name. We have the full name but we don't have a separate response for first name and last name. Now what we have to do, we have to basically separate the first name and last name from this full name. We have to actually split this text. And to do this, we will be using a feature of Public Connect that is called Text Formatter. So just scroll down, click on this Add Action Step button before Constant Contact. And then here in Choose App, search for Text Formatter. So using Text Formatter by Pabli, we are going to separate the first name and last name. And the action event which we are going to use is named as Split Text. Click on Connect. Now after connecting it, the first thing it asks us is text to split. That what is the text which we want to separate. So here we have received a response of full name and we have to basically separate it. So just map this full name over here in text to split. Click here. From the drop down, select the response of full name. Then it is asking us separator. So we want to separate this text before and after this space. We have this space. We want a separate response of text before this space. And we want a separate response of text after this space. So we are going to enter space as the separator. And to write space, we have to enter space in double curly braces. And here in segment index from the drop down, select all and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that in response, you can see the details. Here you can see the first name and last name as two different responses. Now what we have to do, one by one we have to map these same responses over here in this field. So here we will just click on this field of first name. But in the drop down right now, you can't see any data for mapping. This is because we have added a new step, a new data over here before this constant contact step. So what we have to do, we just have to click on this connected button and then just select the existing connection and click on save. So we have to actually reconnect our constant contact account. And then after that, after reconnecting it, when we will click on this field, here in the drop down, you can see the details. So just click here and from the drop down, from text formatter responses, select the response of first name and it will be mapped. Then after that, from the text formatter responses, map the last name as well. Then it is asking us for the job title and company name. So we haven't received these details from there. So you can ignore it for now. Then it is asking us phone number. So from Facebook lead ad responses, select the response of the phone number, which the new lead has entered. Then it is asking us list membership. That in which list in our constant contact account, we want to add this contact. So here guys, right now in my constant contact account, I have only one list named as general interest. So in this list, I want to create the contact. Then it is asking us some other details of the contact like anniversary, birthday month and all the other details. And we haven't received all of these details from Facebook lead ads. And all of these details are not mandatory, not required as well. So we can ignore these fields for now and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows this user has been added as a new contact in constant contact. So we'll go to constant contact and then we'll just go to our contacts page. And yes, guys, here you can see that as we have discussed, we have only one list right now in constant contact that is named as general interest. And in this list, you can see the same contact is created demo at the redpability.com the same lead which we have just now generated using facebook lead ads testing tool and here, here you can see the same details as well we have the same name and other details with the phone number now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever a new lead will be created in facebook lead ads automatically the same lead will be created as a contact in constant contact as well now guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. We will get back to our Facebook lead ads testing tool and we will create a new lead. Now before creating a new lead, we have to actually delete the previous lead. This is because you can create one lead per form. You will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. The help text itself says that only at a time we can create one test lead. Just click on this delete lead button. 
and then just refresh your lead at form lead at testing tool page. Once again, let's search for the same page. This is the page and let's select the page theme lead at testing form. Click on preview form and enter the details of a new user. For example, test lead. This is the name of the person. Let's enter the mobile number and email address as well. Click on next. And click on submit. So just now we have generated, we have created a new lead in our Facebook lead ad testing tool. And we will see as this new lead is generated instantly, automatically, the same lead will be added as a new contact in constant contact. So we will go to constant contact, refresh this contact page once. And yes, here you can see that the same lead has been created. Here you can see the first name, here you can see the last name, here you can see the same email address and the same phone number which we have entered while generating the lead in Facebook lead ads. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine and we have tested this automation in real time. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages to new Facebook leads. So here, you're using Facebook lead ads to generate leads. And every time a new lead is generated, you want to send your lead a WhatsApp message talking about your company, the brochure, the product, etc. How can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate this with an application that can help you in sending WhatsApp messages. Here we are using Interact. Now, you have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Facebook lead ads and your action application would be Interact. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to send WhatsApp messages to new Facebook leads captured through Interact. So I'm going to click on create. So as I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger says when this happens, action is do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application would be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event here would be new lead instant. Basically, this workflow is going to trigger when a new lead is submitted in specified lead generation form associated to your Facebook page. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on connect. As I do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with a Facebook lead ads account. To do this, first you have to log into your Facebook account and then you have to select add new connection, connect with Facebook lead ads. As you do that, here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now here we are supposed to select the page and the lead generation form associated with it. So before I do that, I'm going to take you to my Facebook account. So this is the Facebook account and these are the various pages that I already have created. So you can see Pabli Tech, Ayush Herbal Store, Cycle Store, etc. So you can create your own lead generation page. There's a separate video for that. Now let's say that I have got ABC Plant Nursery. 
and now for this plant nursery i have created a lead generation form so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you back to public connect and here i'm going to look for abc plant nursery here it is and now since it had only one lead generation form so here you would be able to see that it has already been captured by the system now what do we need to do as i click on save and send test request it is asking me to log into the application where we have added the webhook URL and do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Basically, we have to fill this lead generation form. So I'm going to take you to the lead generation form. So how do you reach this page lead ads testing tool? There's a separate video for that. You can find it in the description box. Now here I'm going to select ABC plant nursery. Here it is. So this is the form and now I'm going to click on preview form. As I do that here, we can see that the form has appeared and we have to fill in the information. First of all, the email. So let's say it is test at pablitudes.com. Then what is the full name? It is test user. Now here I'm going to provide a phone number. So once we have provided the number, I'm going to click on next and here we are going to submit this form as soon as we do that here we can see that the form has been submitted taking you back to public connect let's see if we have received the api response and yes here we have received this so this is the email address then we have the full name we have the phone number this is the creation time and then we have the id here we have the details in array format my objective is to send a whatsapp message to the person who has just filled my lead form so now I'm going to add another action application here and this time it is interact. Let's click on this. Now the action event here would be to send WhatsApp template message. Let's click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the interact account. So I'm going to click on add new connection. Now we need a secret key to complete this setup. For this first you have to log into your interact account and then you have to click on this hyperlink. So I've already logged in. Let me click on this. As I do that, here you can see this is our secret key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Public Connect, paste this over here and click on save. As I do that, here we can see that the two applications are now connected. Now here we have to provide the country code, phone number and then we have full phone number. So either you can provide it separately or here you can provide the full phone number. Now the information that I have received. So here I have received my complete phone number. So here I'm going to map this information. Now, how do I map it? For this, I'm going to click on this. As I click on this, I get the previous step. And now as I click on this, I get all the responses that we have received earlier. And this is the phone number. Let's click on this. So once this is done, now the template code name. Now for this template code name, we have to click on this hyperlink as I click on this. So we are directed to the interact shop and here we have all the active templates. These are the templates. So you can see that I've already created these templates. So let me show you this new lead template that I've created. Here we can see that we haven't selected any header option. As header, you can either select a text, image, video, or document. I have selected none. Now comes the body. So here you can see it is written hello. And then you can see a number written within double curly braces. Thank you for reaching out to us. We are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help you. Our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in further detail. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime. Regards, and then there's another number within double curly braces and then it is written team. What are these two numbers? These numbers are basically known as variables as they can change with every message. That is how you can customize a message. Now here we have a footer and then if you wish to add a button, you can add a button. Here I'm going to copy this. Going back to public connect, I'm going to paste this here. This is my template code. Once done, now language code. So here you can see that the language is there is just one language selected here, English. So for English, we have to write the code EN. So that is done. Now comes the header value. So since we haven't selected any header, we are going to leave it blank. Otherwise, you can add the URL of the image or the text or the video that you want to add here. 
Now the body variable values. So here we have to enter the values of variables in my templates body. So I've got two variables. First, where I have to mention the name and second, where I have to mention the name of the company. So here again, I'm going to map the values and separate them with the help of commas. To map the value, as I click on this, we are directed to the previous step and this here is the name. And then I'm going to put a comma and write Pabli Connect. Why? Because this name is going to be static. It's not going to change as it's the name of my company. So I have written this manually. Next is position of CTA button. So if you want to add any CTA button, then you have to select the position and here the value since we haven't selected any. So I'm going to leave this blank. Click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we have received the response. This means that a WhatsApp message must be received by the person who has just filled in the form. So I'm going to take you to my WhatsApp account now. And, and yes, here you can see that we have received a message. Hello, test user. And this is our message regards Pabli Connect team. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to the lead generation form. And here we are going to fill in another form. So I'm going to click on preview form. The email address is dummy at pablitudes.com. Then we have the full name, which is dummy user. And here again, I'm going to enter the phone number. Let's click on next and submit. As soon as we do that, what should happen automatically? A message should be received on WhatsApp. And here you can see that, yes, we have received another message. This is hello dummy user and the body remains the same regards Pabli team. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Facebook lead ads where the event was new lead instant and our action application was interact where the event was to send what template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.